Uh, hey guys, so today I wanted to show you um, a few cut sequences. Uh, actually, I'm a little sick as you can hear. And I'm really sorry for my bad English. But, uh, here we go. So, um, you start off with a normal deck. Um, uh, maybe you want to force a card. This is a good card if you want to force a card. Uh, so, you start off with uh, your deck in this position. And uh, you gotta have a, a piece of your thumb stick out a bit beneath the deck. So, you can go like this just stick it out the back and uh, with your index finger you pull up a little pile of cards and you just go around with it and now uh, you see this little thing here on your hand and you want to put the upper part of the deck right there on the corner see. Um, so you lift it up and put it there and you swing it around and catch it now in uh, slow motion it's a little bit hard but uh, if you do it quickly, you can see that it spins around. So uh, you gotta you gotta practice this motion first. Um, oh, sorry for that one. Uh, the next part is uh, a little bit difficult. Um, when you have done that, you wanna put the rest of the deck above it, um, but uh, catch a thumb break this side, and um, then you do the same thing again pull up a pile with your index finger, swing it around your hand, so it lands on. Then when you're in this position, uh, you want to put your thumb on the upper part of the two piles where you have the thumb break, and you just twid uh, twist it around your middle finger, so it goes like this. Sorry for that one. It's kind of hard in slow motion, and you put the rest of the deck above. So at full speed, it will look like that. Catch a break next one, next one up. So that's really good if you want to force a call, let's say the seven of diamonds. You do the first cut, catch the break, do the same thing again, and you got the seven of diamonds on top. Thank you.